Hello and welcome to a new year at All I Do Is Fail. I am your host, Tom Elwes. I am joined today, as ever, by Mr. Ali Woods. How's it going, Tom? You all right? Very good. Is, oh, you had a nice little rub on my back there. That was quite sweet. Have well, you changed this, your mood? This looked very soft. Thank you. It, it is quite soft. I'm dressed like a Victorian sweet today. I think this is quite a nice shirt. My sister got me for, for, for Christmas, and uh, I'm glad. What did you get for Christmas, Tom? I got a nice skateboard or some sort of I, like... I wish. Some, something to make the ladies swoon. <laughs> yes. A nice bottle of Lynx Africa. Yeah, it was a Lynx Africa, <laughs> a, skate, a skateboard and a, and a yo-yo. That was no it, way! Yeah. It's pretty lit. Uh, no, I, I'll tell you what I got for Christmas. I got a all things I need for dry jan, which I'm currently doing. All right. Uh, yeah, so I got a Nutribullet. Uh, wow. So I can, I'm going to be juicing my life away. Wow! Uh, I thought you couldn't get more boring, but you no. Know, there you go. There you go. Nutribullet. I'm a Nutribullet guy. Wow! Now. Yeah, I'm going to Nutribullet everything. Are you hitting John Lewis after this? <coughs> oh, Mate, Amazon. Uh, I yeah. Uh, so Nutribullet, and then the other thing I got was uh, my flatmate got a. Um, I'll bring it in next week. I, I should have bought it in this week. He got one of those. Um, Oh, like a slender tones, like electrocute you thin. Oh yeah, oh, they're so fun. If you put it Is on it your good? arm, if you put it on your arm, it's literally okay. like. Like you, it's Whoa, great. I'll bring it in crazy. next week and we can have a good time with it. Where's, so he's going to get a six pack, is that his vibe? Well, I'm, well, is that I'm, for you? I'm going to use it. No, no, no. Oh. He, he, but I'm going to use it. I, 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 I can't imagine it works. Anything that allows you to sit on a sofa and, and, yeah, classic. and, and say you're working Ronaldo out. Ronaldo uses it in the advert, yeah. but he's already got an eight yeah. pack. Yeah. And then some fat kid out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to look like Ronaldo. I, I'm, getting, I'm getting ripped while playing PlayStation. It's going yeah. to be it's gonna be next so, level. I am actually going to get a six pack this year. I'll tell you, that's one of my news resolutions. I was talking to our guest about it, who we'll introduce soon, but... Uh, that's one of my resolutions. Okay. 12 week, I'm going to do like a dieting thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get six you Why are you smiling? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Support of a friend. Are you, I'll borrow your Are you going to do, do a photo before? Yeah, 100%. Photos and, happening this Sunday. Okay, do the photo before, and then I think, can we do the big reveal on All I Do Is We well? can do the big reveal on okay. All I Do what, well. what pack I are you on really, at the minute? Sorry? What pack are you on at the minute? Pack oh, pff, two, two, two. I'd okay, say so cool. at, at most. Um, how was your? Uh, that's a ra- that's the smooth tones of racial gold. Hello, mate. How uh, how was your Christmas and New Year's? Yeah, it's Year's good. Week? You can see that none of us spent any time with each other over the no, break. Not <laughs> this is not this is. We always all. are consistent on this show. <laughs> not friends, colleagues. Yeah, colleagues. So that colleagues. is it. Um, so I feel like I'm bad for our guests again. Anything, but before before just before we introduce them, at the top of the show, exciting news, guys. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, it's going to be our first. Live show, everybody. 21st of February at Vault Festival. Thank you for that round of applause. <laughs> that slow sort of non-rhythmic round of applause for me. Sort of like, I saw Michael go the, the dyslexic slapping hand your hands. Clap. Just dyspraxic, dyspraxic hand clap. Right, thank you very much, Ali. Thank you very much. Jeez. We get your insults right on this show. So 21st of February, 8.30 p.m. That's a Friday, everybody, so we can roll straight into the weekend afterwards. It's a, a vault festival. <laughs> I know. I'm, I've turned into a garage. Oh, yeah. I've turned into well, a garage. Kiss FM. Kiss FM <laughs> 21st of February, guys, you're going to get your tickets. Now, two for one. Right if you're wearing weekend. tight clothes, you get in for free. That's right, ladies. The after party's a tiger, tiger. tiger. It's Q cool. jump. <laughs> Buy your Q jumps now online. You follow me on Instagram. That is DJ Straubs. That's for Strawberry Blonde. MC. <laughs> Seeing you into the New Year's, everybody. <laughs> Get your tickets now. Insane. Here is the latest from Select DJ them. Luck. In it, you. We would. I think we'd be quite good, yeah, Garage MCs. So. 21st of February, buy your tickets from Vault Festival. Get, uh, um, get it now. You can do it, and it's going to be live. And we've got a, a guest lined up who we won't reveal right now, but it's going to be great. And uh, you, we've got space for like 60 people, so it's not going to be too much. So please, if you want to come, get down and watch the, the, the jokes live. Me and Tom will be there, and Horatio will be there. Yeah, we'll be doing we'll meet, be, meet and greets afterwards. Doing meet and greets be, afterwards. Not me, obviously. Huge. Tom will be. Yeah, Tom's yeah. got nothing to do. Uh, Ali's off. Like, I'm off. I'm going to go cry. He's going after party. <laughs> Wait, when is it? When is it? <laughs> Our producer. I'm just checking if I, that's, the, that's the literal <laughs> producer of the show. Yeah, I'm yeah. just checking if I can do it. Friday, Friday, twenty first of February. Oh, okay, I'll check. So Horatio okay. might not be there. Okay. Me and Tom be will be there. Someone will be. And there. if anyone, if any of the listeners want to produce yeah. us, they might be. It's on a Friday. Uh, <laughs> just I like doing. Got, I've got I a like date. Stuff on a Friday. Well, I mean, you can do this on a Friday. Okay. Horatio's got well, one date. So while he's doing that, get your tickets. Thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we are. Honoured to be joined by Leicester Comedian of the Year, Edinburgh Award nominee, Michael Adewale. How you doing, guys? You right? I'm good, Michael. How are you? Where was the clap for my... There wasn't even like... Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you very, very, very much. Horatio sort of a fist against <laughs> his sort of hands. It's very reluctant And then like clap. His, his elbows in it. Yeah, in some way. Um, well, uh, Am I I'm first guest of the year? 
your yeah. first guest of the of decade. The decade. Wow. The decade. So uh, hopefully it's all up from here. I'm so, oh, wow. Well, um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm honoured, guys. I well, no, it. we're honoured to have you on. How are you doing today? How is your New Year's? You were talking about it before, mm, mm. before the mics run, but you have a, a phobia. I don't go big on New Year's Eve day, so I can't, I'm scared of dying on specifically New Year's Eve. <laughs> Day. Have you known people to die, or, well, or you know, like where's the fear stem from? I, I feel like it's the saddest day of the year to die on New Year's Eve. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like you don't want to start the year with death. death. Like, yeah, like yeah. you want to start the year to be fair. Yeah. Nah. That's a way to end the year, right? To, 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 I don't want to do that though. Yeah. I feel like if I was to die January second, January third, that's not as sad. Still sad, not as sad as dying on New Year's Eve. So I feel like going out. Increases that risk. Yeah. That I stay so inside. So you sort of weren't invited to anywhere. Was this? Well, the, well, so you know, just wrap yourself up in tin foil. Just you know like, I, mean? like, I can't <laughs> get injured. It's I'm gonna stay protected tonight. Could you go then. out on like five, at five past twelve? Is that when you can? Like you're like yeah. I made it. Can I go out? I want to survive the whole of January first, and then whatever happens <laughs> after that, you know, what happens. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Make I'm, it till summer at least. You know, no, not even just Cavalier. Just from January the second, it's like now my year starts. Yeah. Probably. Listeners won't know this, but he's actually brought his own security, Michael, today. There's a guy yeah, waiting yeah. outside just in case anyone storms the studio. We had to remove all sharp objects. <laughs> <laughs> but I was saying, like, Uncle Phil, we not, man. We got rid of the knife throwing round, yeah. so yeah, that's yeah. not so fun anymore for those watching at home. Uncle Phil died New Year's yeah. Day, man. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, Phil. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Uncle Phil. Mm. What, a, what a hero. But how For old real? was he? He wasn't, how he old was in his eight, He was 80s. He was in his 80s. He was 80s. in the 80s. And yeah. how old are you? I think I'm 24. 24. 24. Still, but still though, still. <laughs> I just, <you> know, <laughs> still, <laughs> still. But still, because drag any time. I don't know how he died, but you know, just the fact that he died that day. You, right, know, you, right, you don't right. know the, the reasons. So I stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. Especially after that. Do you that, see a lot of similarities between you and Uncle Phil? Do you know, I feel like I could take someone under my wing and, you know, just sort of like... And tell them not to go <laughs> either. <laughs> yeah. Hug them yeah. till the new year. I think this is actually called a cult. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when, like, he used to throw jazz out the house? Yeah. Like, I always wanted to throw someone out the house. But like he's that. like a big, strong guy. Is, You'd though. be the guy who get thrown. That's true, man. But yeah. I like that. Could you know what's funny about that? It was the same clip. Like, sometimes oh, really? he'd be how? wearing different clothes. But it was the same <laughs> clip of him getting thrown out the house. That was mm. funny. Mm. But yeah, well, yeah. That, that show did have some the episode where his dad like shows up and then doesn't oh him. yeah that is heartbreaking why don't he love me man that why is... don't he want me man yeah did someone say that's well, that happened to Will Smith in his actual life or something? I'm not like, sure what his relationship was, method, with, it was like it was method because he actually got abandoned by his dad people always say that about like certain clips like oh you know they, they just filmed that improvised yeah. no it wasn't like they obviously planned that like they said that about like I don't know like the scenes in the Joker as Joker. well, like, oh, and, he, um, he improvised that. No. Django as well. Django, <laughs> that was the big one that went around. Like, and then was, I was being on the camera, not winning the Oscar for this one. He literally bled for the film. He bled for the film. <laughs> Yeah, have you seen the Kevin Hart documentary? I have not seen it yet. No, Apparently, it didn't come out looking too good. Well, it's, it's it's such a fluff piece of him. It's just like him being like, "Yeah, I cheated and did bad things, yeah, but you know, but I'm still just keep grinding, man. Yeah, I just keep working keep hard. Yeah, keep... yeah. You know, if you don't go out and get it, no one's gonna give it to you. Okay? Yeah, yeah you don't. Get, yeah, you gotta grind. Yeah, yeah. But he yeah. is. And he, see, he does I, grind to be fair. I see Kevin Hart in you, though. You got that sort of like in me. A you little bit short. No, no. I mean, in terms of like that mentality of like annoying. Don't throw me! <laughs> you, you want it though. Like I, I, I that. see that I in you. That. I want it. Yeah. You want I, it. I, I, I want. But I want happiness. I want to do whatever makes you happy. And uh, comedy is yeah. the thing that's made me sort of happy in my life. Yeah, but I just killed. No, not podcasts. Not podcasts. Let me kill together. That's fine. Yeah. Happiness is a bad goal, man. You are? Happiness is a bad What's your goal, Horatio, to find the nichest Chinese restaurant in London? Skirt! <laughs> <laughs> Bingo, guilty. Yeah, got me. Um, authentic streetwear. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Authentic streetwear. But truly wear. authentic. Me and Tom Not, are looking for authentic Yeah, like proper. If anyone out there knows any authentic, ideally Not northern twerkwear. brands of yeah, work workwear. Wear, you, you want like a mining company. You want yeah, to find yeah, yeah. the person, the clothes that the person who would be most angry at Horatio for wearing yeah, 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 clothes, yeah, 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 that yeah, is yeah, what yeah, we're uh -huh, looking uh -huh, for. Yeah. Appropriate working yeah. class culture. Yes, So please. mining's good. <laughs> Possibly forestry guys into like forestry. tree surgeons. Tree surgeons, yeah. surgeons definitely. Like kind yeah, of green like dungaree. Electrician. This is the decade where we start appropriating like white working class culture more just like taking... Definitely. I don't know. We're going to be having like, I don't even know, like leftover nights at dinner parties <laughs> and stuff yeah, like speaking of fashion you have started wearing the necklace yeah and because we talked about this before yeah. whether you want to and what have you found do people treat you different yeah do, do people think well how, how do they treat people you? are like whoa it's First a long all, it's a long necklace man are you christian oh, uh, but it's not a cross what, what is it what is it that's a bit of christian oh, really? <laughs> you're not 
question, bro. I'm Catholic. Calm down. Are you in? Are you? Oh, let's, let's, not, let's calm down. Oh, um, oh, okay, but, okay. I mean... Yikes. That's for the, that's for the ladies. Say, uh, I'm Catholic yeah. for the ladies, in it. <laughs> I repent. Yeah. I repent. Yeah. My, my wrongdoings. Like, I didn't mean to treat you like that. I, just, I always fight with the devil and the Lord on my side. Like. Ali doesn't know this, but at the end, because uh, he doesn't listen to the episodes back, I actually just put in a bit of a sermon at the end. I just like, <laughs> edit it in. Just like, <laughs> that was all I do. Now, most most, most yeah. white men with silver necklaces tend to protect the Lord, I find, you know, in some sort of way. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? It's, uh, I'm not say, saying I'm religious. I'll protect the Lord. I, I, will, I will say this is yeah, fully yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What Lord is that? His, his yeah. uncle. Yeah. No, Lord of the man. No, 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 it's definitely a fashion thing, let's be honest. But, you know, we're talking about the necklace. And I think with the necklace, it is definitely a fashion thing. But we were talking about purposely ripped jeans. Do you remember in the 2000s, there was a period of time when everyone would just like sag their jeans real low. You could yeah, buy chain. jeans with like a bit of like boxer stitched in the top. <laughs> like, you mean, so there's, you like, mean there's other jeans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I why buy the like, boxers? You know? yeah. Yeah. So it looked yeah. like you were like, yeah. Cause yeah, on. you used to real hang them real, real low. Yeah. But you, there, was, oh. there was two phases going on there though. There was the rap culture of, of having it just like mm. below your ass. But then there was also the grunge culture of having just like, Baggy jeans, jeans with a with a chain yeah. connected to something. The emo, you know, the emo vibe. That was it. Yeah. Which ones did you did you have any? Did you have an emo vibe at any point? I, I can't I imagine d- you yeah. had an emo vibe. Yeah, I dyed my don't hair. Don't get enough size. girls. That's what. Really? I was yeah, I dyed my hair peroxide. No, you terrible. didn't. Worst thing I ever did was when I was like four, cool. fourteen. I dyed my hair peroxide white. Was like it white. And when I mean white, I mean like left it in. It was like. I looked like I had a disease. It was so white, <laughs> right? And then my mum was it like- It was the style of the time. Yeah, it was pretty rare. My mum- Oh my God, are you ill? That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> People getting up on buses for me. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so my mum got so angry at me and she was like, right, you need to do, change that back. So she went to the shop, right? And she just bought like Sainsbury's own brand, like dye. 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 Yeah, but like yeah, your hair just... is different textures and colors. So if you dye your hair white and then dye it brown, it goes like a matte. So I look like one of the Beatles. Like it was like yeah, a Lego mat, man. Like just a Lego on. It was it on. so bad. And like, yeah, oh, it was... <laughs> so, but speaking of bad hair, cause your hair's growing back. That's yeah, good. Finally. Did yeah. you see? When did you cut it? Oh, you didn't see this? No, I didn't oh, see, I didn't see you. Zone. No, I might have seen you at football. Maybe. I yeah, don't really so pay attention. There was a brief period of two weeks where I was the fit one. And, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't you did have like a... Yeah. Um, so but, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. No, no. How bad was this? Let me no. see this before. Um, but yeah, so... And uh, because Tom had an absolute Tom Schlidlston. Oh, I remember that. What the yeah. fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did you do that? I didn't do it on purpose. I went to the world's worst, like... I paid, I paid the barber five Yeah. Years. Why no, not I just like, go and take it all off? No, basically he he did, I would normally clip the size of my hair, but like sort of list kind of length, like four yeah. or five, but he just went straight to like basically zero. <laughs> and then like, I was just like, looked at him and he knew he'd, he knew he'd fucked it. And then he was like, well, I've got to do it everywhere. I'm fucked. So I would have uh, gone like, get out zero fun. everywhere. What, and just shaved it all off? Yeah. Try I've, that. I've shaved my head before. Try that. Yeah, I saw that. I've seen photos of you with a shaved head. Thank you. You look like serial killer. You. <laughs> you look like you would murder women. Danger to my middle name. You kept, yeah. the, you kept yeah. the beard. <laughs> Danger towards women. What's your actual middle name? Yeah, towards What's your you, actual middle name, Ali? Sorry? What's your actual middle name? My middle name is my dad's name, Anthony. Is your middle name what you say it is on stage? Big time. What is your That's middle his name? middle name, big time. Oh, don't, don't, <laughs> don't ruin the, don't ruin the, the big joke. Time. You yeah, you're burning material. This, this don't bl- got to burn his bro. material. Yeah, right. Oh, it's fine. Right. It's not funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't burn the good stuff. I need to get this anyway. It is actually Beresford. 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 Wow. So <laughs> mine's Ben. So Beresford. No. 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 Not as bad as that. Tom Ben Elwes. Why have you got two Tom Ben. Why have you got such an ordinary name? Tom Ben Elwes. Benjamin. Elwes. Thomas Benjamin Elwes. Tom Ben. Tom Ben. Okay. Tom and Ben. I've been doing some Olawale. Olawale, Olawale. No way. For the alliteration. Wow. It works, man. Michael so Olawale, just initials Olawale. Are new. But what? They're so similar. <laughs> I don't know, like heritage. I don't know the meaning. I can make it up. It yeah. means like strength and honor. <laughs> yeah. and you well, can't that's make it. Fun I'm feeling like I'm not taking this enough because it might be like an African heritage thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just not. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh, that's that's so cool. Tread carefully. If Tom was like, if Tom was like, my name's Tom Jell, where's Elwes? I'll be like, what the fuck are you doing, you dickhead? <laughs> Who's this fucking guy? Tom Jell, where's Elwes? That's amazing, mate. <laughs> Tom Jell, where's Elwes? That's got me. That's great. Making characters. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I already have strong belief that Tom should change his name to Elwes. I was actually thinking about that. I've had, I've had so <laughs> many, <laughs> so many, like, recently... In the last, like all of December, with gigging, would like people fuck it up. I did think on my Instagram, they could easily just change it to a Z, and it would like. What do you mean? What Tom Zell was? Uh, no, Elwes. <laughs> 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 
Wes, as in put a Z on the end instead of an S. <laughs> is that what L- people feel, <laughs> you feel like Wes. really, really... No, no because if, if you read it, if people, when they read people. it, yeah, yeah, when they read it, if it, it would say it L, they would say it pro- correctly, they would say El Wes. They might go Els. Mm. It's better than what they're saying now, which is like, ooh, oh, 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 Anyway, back to back to names and good times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What I was saying, what, you've got a vibe. You've got like a sort of Marvin Gaye thing going on. It's oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I would say the word I would use to describe you, to describe you Michael, uh-huh. is considered. Do you guys know how Marvin Gaye died quickly? Yes, yes. I'm crazy. Okay. Shot do you know the backstory uh, of, oh, for those who don't listen here, is that killed him. Do you know the story behind Bobby Womack? No. I was is that a white guy or black guy? Well, you know no, Bobby Womack. Where was Womack? Bobby I'm Womack. Yeah. Uh, soul, 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 soul. Music. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So finally, the white people. Tell the black guy. This is like, embarrassing. Like, you know how to sell music? Oh yeah. my gosh! Like, what? Uh, <laughs> seriously, uh, awkward. Um, Bobby Womack. You got to let you know Bobby right, Womack. Cool. Anyway, he's anyway. He was Sam Cooke's guitarist, main guitarist. Sam Cooke died. Sure. Bobby Womack turned up to Sam Cooke's funeral in his suit, in Sam Cooke's suit, driving Sam Cooke's car with Sam Cooke's wife, then married his, Sam Cooke's obviously now divorced wife, three months later. What? Weird. Then, don't stop there, then he cheated on his wife, Sam Cooke's ex-wife, with Sam Cooke's daughter, their stepdaughter, (laughs) then married the stepdaughter, the ex, well, the wife shot at him, but missed, and then he just ma- he just sacked her off, and then married the stepdaughter, and then they got divorced later. How fucking crazy is that? That guy's a savage. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So got, he, but he must have. The funeral was definitely a statement. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It was like I was like, I'm taking over this guy's life. It was, okay. And yeah, so so lots of people from like the soul community were like, he's a complete asshole. But then he just kept producing bangers. So. Oh, yeah, you can't, so you can't deny that. That Marvin Gaye, not to sound Eddie Whiter, but that, have you seen the episode of Atlanta where they do, where he goes to the um, the Michael Jackson yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah, Teddy, yeah, Teddy, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he's got, yeah, he's got something. Uh, yeah, Teddy, something. Teddy, yeah, and he's got the uh, Museum of uh, Amazing Dads or whatever. Oh, it's yeah, just like, it's like yeah, yeah. Marvin Gaye's dad, uh, Emilio Estevez's Michael dad from Jackson. the Breakfast Club, and like, yeah. you know, <laughs> that dad's yeah, amazing. That's so I think uh, we've all proved we're into African American culture. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well done, us. Good reading beforehand. Really worked. <laughs> Michael, you're impressed. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to move on to the news. <laughs> okay. So, the news story this week is that of Mr. Donald Trump and New Year's and new starts. Mr. Trump has started the new year by essentially attacking Iran by killing their most senior general. How yeah. do we feel about this? It's belong in it. I mean, um, he. Well, by the time this goes out, the world might not exist. Which I don't know how then we're getting out, but respect to us for that sort of level of drive. Um, but ima- imagine if like all the other podcasts got destroyed, but it was just us. Then we'd have like an absolute. <sighs> then we'd literally get into double figures. For <laughs> yeah, listeners. it'd be incredible. Um, <laughs> thank you, everyone who listens to this. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've read quickly about it. I don't know loads about uh, American politics in general, um, but like. What I didn't realise, I thought it was accidental because it's in Baghdad that he... No. So I thought it was like there were some making some attack on Iraq, which is simultaneously not good either. So but then he was just there. But there was a targeted attack on it was Iran. A, it was a target... What happened was Mr. Trump was in Florida when he made this decision, but... Disney World just yeah, fucking living his life. Yeah. He was about to go on yeah. Space Mountain like, kill them. <laughs> the US uncovered a plot for Iran to attack uh, US citizens in Iraq. Uh, and they decided to retaliate in a quite serious way and take out the most senior general of Iraq. You guys like, normally do like this level of political analysis on your, no, on your post. No, no, and that's why on a side note, I was going to say, is taliate, taliate a word? Retaliate. But is taliate a word? Because to retaliate know. is to go... I don't think it is. Can you taliate? No, I don't someone? think you can taliate. I don't think. I've never heard of anyone be like, I'm going to taliate you. But then I'd retaliate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a serious taliate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He taliated me, so I'm retaliating. You know what I mean? Everyone's getting tallied. Uh, we don't know much about politics. But what I would say, though, is... Speak for yourself. Well, what I would say, well, I, well we've got... Miss, I okay. If you want to jump in, yeah, yeah, by, by all means, uh-huh. give us your take. Because yeah. I, was, I was just going to go on to, like, have you ever had beef with anyone? Yeah. That, that was where you were going to take it, transition-wise. I, I wanted to, yeah, but, but, but please, by all means, Mike. 
what you know, I, 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 you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we just have to see how this un, un, unfolds on sort of the political wider sort of spectrum of of scales. There's been a lot of like, like, yeah. 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 um, <laughs> Welcome to news political night. correspondent yeah. and scale salesman. <laughs> and uh, if you okay. want to scale to weigh that, then I've got some. Um, got to see how this pans out, you yeah. know. And then, uh, that's why I said considered for the yeah. word I would use to describe you. Because My that was style, a very considered answer. My yeah, style. considered style. Um, oh, thank you. Appreciate. It. I think but, everyone. Um, World leaders from all around the world have it all called for calm. Russia called it murder. Pop yeah. calling kettle. <laughs> Russia yeah. was like, how dare they? Well, that's, be that's so violent and aggressive. You know what, I mean? yeah. what did China do? Probably nothing. Just <laughs> looked and laughed. Trying to work it away. They know they're going to own the world in like 15 yeah. years. So they're just care. like, they're just head down working away. Respect. Did you, was it like, did you see the thing with China and Meza Erzul? Yeah, Mesut yeah, Ozil yeah. doesn't exist in China anymore. Mm. Yeah, they got rid of they him took him out of the game. Yeah. It's his own fault for criticizing the one true leaders of China. But like yeah, that, China don't play, man. <laughs> and I hear it all I do is fail. Yeah. We love our Chinese overlords. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we can't wait. Are huge supporters Horatio of the Chinese regime. Always supports always, the always cuisine supports. in London. Mm-hmm. Goes yeah. to niche Chinese restaurants. Yeah. Chinese Ch- China restaurants. don't play, man, because they know they can just like because you know, they're always take out the money. And worthy. You know? um, yeah, so you're you you not saying China anything either. pro Hong Kong on this? We get a lot of our listeners um, through WeChat. So yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. TikTok. Yeah. TikTok. Yeah. I think you guys, everything... this, you, you guys going to get on TikTok this year? Apparently it's, because uh, I was, I saw TikTok when it's I first saw it and I was like, that's annoying. It's a lot of dancing kids. But apparently like, you know, it's, a, it's an you know, avenue. You know who's mm-hmm. big on it? Who was, uh, who's the comedian who does puns? Darren Walsh. Darren Walsh. He's huge Friend of the TikTok. show. Yeah. He got a million views on one of his things. No. I don't know. We know him. <laughs> Michael's just like I only, I only keep you, up to date with the brothers like, we just like oh, it's, it's, it's the tall like, one and the ginger one yeah, yeah. I did that podcast the other day who are those two white guys you guys are like uh, they Sims look the same yeah. they like, talk the same I don't even really hear your word like blah 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 that's all I hear he's on a podcast yeah, with Pingu right here yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, so he's not, but he's, he's he's doing well on TikTok. Are you getting on TikTok? I don't think I'll get on TikTok. You're not what would you do on Twitter? Like, I'm, I'm, like, I started making online sketches. I saw a I'm video, of, I didn't watch it, but I saw yeah, a video yeah, of yours um, about a Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. How did that go? Because you don't really do anything on social media. No, really. not really. But like I'm getting on it just in my own way. Because, you know, I feel like that's, that's, that's the movement this decade is like building your own own following. I listen to a lot of K Curd, and that's what he he tells yeah. me. So I'm trying to just build my own K, stuff. K is a big preacher of the online, and uh, also I've completely blanked on his name, but we had him on two weeks ago. Nigel Ung as well, Nigel massive Lung, preacher. Man. Nigel Nigel's on TikTok, so you know. Yeah, yeah. Nigel's on anything. He's hey, very he's very on, keen. He's on he five. All about everything. Yeah. He's on it all, bro. Yeah. I respect that. So, so yeah. you're gonna build your own following? Maybe. We'll see. Well, I'll just keep posting. It's on a, on a regular basis. Right. Things that I find fun. Yeah. I'm not gonna Are you going to break it. China um, with comedy? Uh, do you know what? what? Chinese like, stand up is like anyway. I'm going to go for the. <laughs> Don't Hong you Kong love market. the government like I do? <laughs> so good. Oh my God. Isn't it annoying when you're trying to worship the government yeah. and then like you shoelaces on time and you oh. fall and everyone's like, yeah. and they stop applauding at the same time? Those yeah. assholes in Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, actually, to be fair, I don't agree with what they're doing. But, yeah, it's um, terrible. Fuck, 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 <laughs> but, fuck, fuck. Do you see the Muslim um, retraining camps? Yeah. No, no, I didn't. We didn't either. Okay. No, no, no. It's always been Tom no, Ellis. I don't know. There's never been anyone else here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny thing about that Ozil thing is like the Turkish president was like his best man as wedding. So like, yeah. it's his grey yes. blind spots for sure. Yeah. Yeah, talk, yeah, talking of other fails, Arsenal and Manchester United, you know, I've been watching repeats of Luke Shaw be absolutely ruined by Pepe. Um, yeah, I mean, fine. Pepe scuffed one in and then proceeded to do absolutely zero. Um, uh, put, was, put Luke uh, Shaw on his sure. back and made him but, look like a bitch. But Luke Shaw, sure it says more about Luke Shaw that he's the only fullback to make Pepe look good. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Pepe, who 72 million, couldn't last over an hour. We were awful that first Salty. half. We were awful that first half. Compounded by Martin Keown's Awful commentary. Oh my god. He is one of those me. boring men. He mm. was awful. But he didn't talk. He was no one out. Anyway. Why do people. <laughs> this isn't the football. Why podcast. do people hate Michael Owen so much? Michael Owen, oh, he is he's, awful. He's dumb as well. He's, he's quite so bland. Dumb. He's got no if interesting you, if things you got, to say. Like the quotes that you can read it out. It's just like, he said, but my favorite one was. Um, and they need to get better at scoring because if they don't score, they hardly ever win. They hardly ever win. That's such a great turn of phrase. Balloon door. 
21 years old. You know, Michael Owen. Like balloon door. Balloon door. The balloon, balloon door. door. The balloon oh my door. God. Wait, wait, what? Really the balloon door. door. The balloon what? door. <laughs> are, you pl- pl- are you planning a party? Yeah. <laughs> balloon He's door sounds like a new. Messi's one over five yeah. balloon doors. <laughs> like a new bar, a new yeah. bar in Shoreditch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The balloon door. The balloon door. The balloon door. Clowns win in Edinburgh. Have you never heard it said out loud? You've only ever read it, haven't you? Oh, that is the balloon door. Wait, wait, what's it called? The Charles TV. The Ballon d'Or. The Ballon d'Or. It's a French. French no, one words. Knows. no one knows. Did you think it was like related to balloons? <laughs> All right, you guys make terrible teachers. You know, <laughs> here. This isn't hey, there's, nothing, right. there's nothing learned on this podcast. Yeah. And three seasons, there's nothing for learning. You know That's what I mean? Great like, content. What's, um, what did you think? What did you think? Did you think it was about balloons? I just thought, you know, I, I said it. How I read it. Balloon door. <laughs> <laughs> they've won a balloon there's door. a lovely quote though when someone mispronounces a word it shows that they've only ever read it and you should be um, you should be celebrating that. The fact that oh read, so you the obviously fact that you that just went in one ear for the other Ali. for you that's a really good quote thanks yeah. man it was a lot of opportunity <laughs> for you <laughs> <laughs> cool. um, that was that was a moment where you could teach me something, and instead you chose to ridicule me. So thank you. Uh, yeah, it's this not, all yeah, this, mail, this podcast. Uh, what do you think this is? Think is? Oh, Let's yeah, remedial French <laughs> with Michael. No, no. What on earth are you talking about? Je joue au foot dans le weekend. My New Year's resolution: I'm learning how to swim. That's what I'm doing. I'm learning how to swim. Oh, nice. Okay. That's called um, it's called a, a, a transition. Yeah. Or Bettering like an immediate yourself. segue. Yeah. From what we were talking about before right, to now right, talking about right, this. Right, right. Okay, okay yeah, yeah. Yeah. were you taking classes or you? What's the, what's Eight thirty every morning, every Friday. Oh I'm shit! Learn how to, Did you do it today then? No, nah, not oh, today. Okay. It wasn't. It, start, it starts. <laughs> oh, like, we're recording on yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah. It starts on the tenth. So Wicked. I'm gonna learn how to. So swim. you signed up for that then? Signed up for that. Really? How, how far have you got with swimming thus I, far? I don't. I can't remember how bad I am. So I don't remember if I know I enough. I think you're going to remember when you hit the pool. That's going to be a quick out. bit. Literally Just dive sing, in. Single yeah. swim, that one. Yeah. I think, uh, I thought, last time I checked, I think I know it's a backstroke, but that's it. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm going to learn again. And then so that's my nose resolution. And, and what is it um, that makes you want to want to be able to swim? Um, I just don't want to die in a pool. Cool. <laughs> well, I'm glad I did. It's quite fear-based with you, man. You got a lot of fear. To invite you to my New Year's Eve pool party. Fuck it out. He can't wait. That's why he's getting the six-pack for the pool party in the summer. Well, summer's never been good to me. My ginger, my ginger self. He's just going to get a paddling pool. We're all going to stand. I want a six-pack so good you can see it through my t-shirt when I'm in the pool, living it up. Oh, well, that's good. And um, so, eight thirty every morning. So you're gonna, every, are you gonna every Friday morning? Are you gonna do that on social media? You're gonna showcase your? No, 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 no. This is just for me. What's that's not level? really like and Instagrammable thing, is it? Like you swimming. And your, everyone loves I don't know. You and your swimming hat. That's not. I haven't what got people waterproof. Uh, phone. I've got like eighty likes for showing a picture of me. Swimming, but I mean, they were all sort of me accounts, I, accounts I've created. But mm. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the beauty of bots. But uh, <laughs> hot, hot gingers. I love them. X X X O O O. Yeah. But yeah. So is there a point? You want to get to? Do you, have you got like I want to swim fifty meters in this time? I want to do not ten drown. Yeah. So yeah. Well, that's a good that's a good resolution to have. Yeah, no. yeah. So I'm a, I'm a we, hopefully we wish you well. If I'm reinvited onto the pod, maybe in a year's time. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, I want to see what we'll other words you say. Pool. Funny. We'll get, get some other French we'll French words. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get a live dive. Yeah. 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 And here he comes, yeah. and there he goes. Will he come up? Who knows? And that's the end of Michael Oluwali Oluwali. Pod from the pool, maybe. Pod from the pool. That's podcasting gone too far. Well, I do, and then we can. See the failure if I'm not, and yeah, if I yeah. drown, I get you out. I want to see point. like that, that post, like with you, like dripping and like, you know, like I just came in to win, you know, like, <laughs> and uh, I, I think I proved my dad was wrong today. Like, haters out there, but shout out to my haters, they yeah. keep me strong in it. Fucking smash those seven year olds in my class, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and all these go, go on, Tanya. And she's like, scared to go, and Michael just fucking runs <laughs> in, <up. laughs> in front of her, pushes out of the way, got away, girl. But yeah. look, we make fun of you, but respect. We respect Tom, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sure. drive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it fucking done. Oh, I failed my driving test yeah. twice, and I'm gonna fucking get it done. It's bullshit that I haven't. We can have a live Tom drives us to the pool. <laughs> yeah. Watch Michael can you swim. drive, Ali? Of course, yeah. No, I don't. No, I need to actually. Can you yeah. drive? Nah, no, I can't. <laughs> good times. What's your New so, Year's resolution? So I've got two, which I was telling you about. So, oh, firstly, good luck on the driving. Thank you. So I've got two, which <laughs> I was telling Michael about. So first one. So this year, I did meat free Mondays. 2019, one day a week, veggie. This 2020, I'm gonna do two days a week, veggie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no one gives a shit. Right, and yeah. then the second one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Special clap. Thank you for Special clap. Go, go clap in the corner. Yeah. The whitest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Well, well, it's going by the planet. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the second one I'm going to do is I'm going to get a six pack. Okay. So very health orientated. Health orientated. So once you get it, like you're like, fuck it, I'm done. Is it I'm going to take a picture, it? and then how, if, I, if I'm lucky enough to get really old, I'll be like, I was a. Pe- 
paying team. Yeah. Yeah. He's um, doing it all over the lines. Face. Yeah. Yeah. So you have yeah. Well, but also my personal, I've always wanted to have a six pack. And mm. I've got sort of close sometimes, but I'm never really committed to it. So this year I'm going to commit to it. You need to get on like like Davina McCaw, like, you know, cool yeah. workouts. Yeah. Well, well, you have a fat. Well, another, I want to get in one of those ginger calendars. <laughs> that's your goal. No, that's not a goal, but it's a sort of. Were you ever fat? Well, I was never fat. I was, uh, so, I was, I was always fairly bulky. Sure. But um, I was always like so that athletic. sounds like fat to me. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was chunky. Um, yeah. I was massively plump. Well, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I was a big boy, big boned. I want my food. I just have chips with everything. Like, yeah. It's not a fry up if you can see yeah. fry. I've got to cover it. It's not chips. flat if you can dance. Yeah. So uh, that was my uh, no, no. But I was always like I was always sporty and stuff. So I've never had that. <laughs> oh, thing. Fucking legend. Uh, okay. Yeah. So um, so that's my they're my two. And yeah, I want to get one of those ginger calendars. Oh, they can't be too hard to get into. Who's gonna like have that? bigger arms at the end of the year? That's what we should put. A poll out for Aiden. You, are you involved? Yeah, I'll get involved. I'll oh, throw my hand in the ring. I'm mate. really behind You are losing oh. heavily right now. <laughs> <You're losing laughs> a lot. I've never lived weights in my life. No, yeah. um, I've got bigger emotional God, if I, it, that could be my resolution to get bigger arms. To get jacked. You. Get... you all struggle because you're tall. It's really difficult. The problem actually, is though, because mm. I do legs in the gym as well and Tom just doesn't spend any time on them. You know what? You know what I need to do? I, that's maybe what I'll do. I'll just do just legs in the gym and see how ripped I can get in my, my calves. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's, there's my two resolutions that I'm, I'm going to do. And um, I hope uh, the listeners will back me in that. So with your support, guys. I think I can do it. I'm doing dry jan as well. I did already mention that. That's cool. That, but yeah. Have you ever done it before? Nope. Um, I did it once before. It was actually quite um, bad, actually. I found yeah. it quite tough. Like, I, the first two weeks are easy because mm. no one wants to do anything. Mm. You're feeling healthy and stuff. But then people will start going out again. People exactly. start breaking, what breaking gonna... it. The second half of Jan, you're just like, and because I was one of those stupid idiots that didn't, I, I, <laughs> I, I wanted to still go out with them. I was like, I'll just be the guy that goes out and doesn't drink. Yeah. Because like, That's what I'm I don't need I'm... that. I don't need that. And then you're there and you're like, I, I really want to, <laughs> I really <laughs> want to drink with these guys. Man. My friends are boring. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> My friends are boring. <laughs> what are we chatting about? This ain't funny. <laughs> Is this funny normally? <laughs> I want to go. What's the time? 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bit. Is that a bit? No, but it's, it's I mean, a bit it just now, shows my sort of... He put his stand-up sort of voice on. Yeah, yeah. He did slightly more working voice class stand-up voice. No, man. Like, no, man. No, man. No, man. No, man. No, You kidding me? I'm not going to my fucking You sound like the kid from the Dubai video. I was trying to do... Out, man. Out, man. <laughs> and you strut like you know Def Jam really on the street. Yeah, I'm I'm walking around. Yeah. I've changed my leather jacket on. Ten thirty, motherfuckers, man! <laughs> Y'all killing me with this shit. <laughs> and that was Michael, but that was me. Um, so, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, but that, but I did. So I think first two weeks, like you'll be neutral up. Second two weeks, I'll be there for support. But man. I'm gonna get real, <laughs> real bored. That's what I can think. Like I just. So you would you suggest going out or not? That's I would suggest not. I actually would suggest. Being the guy who actually does, if your friends are like, "Oh, just come to the pub and have a diet coke, whatever," I'll be like, um, "Actually, I'm gonna go to the gym." Just, just say no, because because you get there, and then also that's another thing with dry January. No one has ever offered me more drinks in my life than when I'm saying I'm not drinking. Mm. Go on, I'll get you one. I'm getting one. What do you want? Blah, blah, blah. They just want you to drink, so everyone will offer you everything. Mm. Do, do, do the black voice again. You <laughs> kidding me, motherfuckers? No, I'm not drink. I know these motherfuckers for 10 years, man. I never got a single fruit shoot out of these motherfuckers. I tell them, <laughs> I'm not drinking. Oh, uh, Ali, what you want? What you saying? What you want? Let me get you a double. A double, motherfucker. Let me get you some syrup. <laughs> <laughs> but I love how locked and loaded. Yeah. Ask any white comic. A, a black person gives them the right. To, you can do your black voice. They're like, Here we go. I've been waiting to do this for years. I've been doing this in my bedroom. Oh, did you say do the black voice? Like, this is how we talk off the mic. Yeah. You've never seen me do stand up. That's yeah. exactly how it is. Yeah. Sorry. I'll, I'll do the black voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I was trying to channel the uh, R. Kelly interview. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best. Oh. I love that interview so much. He's going... Well, Yo, he, I'm killing me with this! Is that a camera? Is that a camera? Here's some New Year's uh, sort of news. His trial and Harvey Weinstein's trial both happening. Ha Weinstein's trial starts in like a week or something. Oh. It's crazy. He's like, going around on the Zimmer for Yeah, have you seen that? It's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faking respect, sympathy. Man, He's just like, oh, no, I, I can't. I love that. And then he was out shopping without it the oh, other day. Yeah. So oh, good. And like having like, yeah, like 25-year-old models sitting on his knee and stuff. Really? Like, I didn't see that. Yeah. I saw he said something like, I've given so many actresses their break in this industry. And it's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the issue, yeah. bro. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> we wish you hadn't, you yeah. fucking pervert. <laughs> you tell him, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. We- Weinstein will take. Chinese government. No. no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Weinstein. Yeah, so I reckon both of them are going to go to prison. I, I, I can't no, see but them Did not. you see the other thing that was coming up on the group chat? Of the, the Kevin Spacey accusers are all dying. Yeah. You must, conspiracy theory, you must be in the Spacey's that. getting off. Spacey's not Have you seen his videos? Shit. His Christmas videos. He's like, yeah, yeah, I saw his Christmas video. Have, Have you seen the second one last year? No, 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 this year. Did a follow up? I did one doing ridiculous. At, at, most as, insane as thing I've ever seen. And like talking, it was fucking creepy. Yeah. Well, he has to, you know, he's still an artist. You've got to get it out. You know, gotta get it out <laughs> it's a content beast. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Game respect game. That video was well shot. It was the right length of time for his audience. Content beast. Subtitled. I'm sure. Kevin Spacey, you've been accused of being a content beast. How do you plead <laughs> guilty as charged? <laughs> I'm sure R. Kelly's still recording. You know, if you, you know. R. Kelly needs to release like an album about yeah, yeah. the trial or something. Yeah. Oh, I, I want trapped another, in the closet. Another, hey, I want trapped listen. in the closet from the yeah. trapped from the courtroom. Yeah, trapped in the courtroom. Court court yeah. <laughs> and then they said, "I raped I, her. I didn't <laughs> rape her. <laughs> <laughs> rape her. I didn't rape her." Rape her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the judge says, "You're going to jail." Yeah. <laughs> When I that? say go, you say shower, go and shower. The only jail that's, is that's, your heart, girl. That's the one thing I didn't like about that whole R. Uh, Kelly thing. Not the one thing, but, you know, <laughs> just... um, they, cause it, cause they said he had a sex dungeon. And there's, there's actually nothing wrong with having a sex dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's if, true. If you're yeah. using it in the right way. Yeah, but like, a good point. sex dungeon. Yeah, you can like, So... And yeah, also, like, dun- but dungeon to me, the word. No, but it's about. Playing it's not around. a good word. It's like also a word to have yeah. in your house. It's, if I was being shown a house, yeah. and and they were like, and down here's the dungeon. So let's go to the kitchen. I'd be like, sorry, right. excuse me. What was? What if it said fun dungeon? Fun dungeon. Fun dungeon. That's it, right? Because if you're having fun sex in that dungeon. <laughs> That doesn't necessarily make it a sex dungeon because you could be having ice cream. You could have an ice cream machine in there. Do you not have ice cream during sex? Boring. Boring. <laughs> no one's going to call it Mission an ice cream. Corner. Constantly. <laughs> couple of, couple of chicken. <laughs> I'm always keeping it's it cold. It's just a dungeon. So, um, so yeah, I, no, I, do, I do take your point there. A consensual sex dungeon. Yeah. Um, but like I think like isn't he accused of like of, it, was, it was the age of the girls that was there. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was also like again, right. So he was doing it wrong. But having a dungeon in itself so, is so. Not. I get the vibe yeah. that you would quite like a sex. Dungeon. No, I would like a. There's nothing wrong with having a dungeon, <laughs> and if you have sex in there, it doesn't make it a sex dungeon. Be so accusatory of a dungeon. Oh, a bit, yeah. but apparently, there's nothing wrong with it. A lot of our listeners, I'm sure, have dungeons, and we. Look, have if anyone wants to invite me to their dungeon, I'll have a look. <laughs> I'll have a look. Yeah, I don't know. I feel, yeah, okay. You can have a dungeon. There's nothing wrong with a dungeon. Right. Like, Fifty Shades of Grey's got a dungeon. And they love it, don't they? They love, they love the dungeon yeah. there. It helps if you're rich and yeah, have a dungeon. It it's rich, less cool if you're poor home. and your dungeon's in like a shed. Do you want to go up two bedrooms? Yeah. If you just just live in the dungeon. Sorry, this is my dungeon slash kitchen. Exactly. Yeah, you start making all tea in the dungeon. Yeah, get the tea bags out of like a little fucking chain thing. Um, I'll be right back to whipping you. I'm just, uh, just, just unzipping the gitmo. Yeah. Do you have milk? <laughs> that would be, a, that'd be not cool. That's crazy. No yeah. one wants to see that. Fifty Shades of Grit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, I, I feel like you got, you got to have your pun game is just going to be the strongest. Let's, let's not go back. Let's not go back. But uh, yeah, I just, what's the, the minimum? You got to have at least five bedrooms to have a dungeon. I think. What do you think of that dungeon corner? What's, what's a dungeon corner? Um, Wait, how many people know, living in the five bedroom flat? No, no. Oh, so yeah, you've got house. 20 people. I think it has to be a house. It has to be a house. to be living there alone. And you have at least five bedrooms to Do you think there needs to be a bedroom mi- minimum for a dungeon? <laughs> it just seems weird if you're like, I've only got two rooms. <laughs> um, so that's the <laughs> bedroom so or dungeon. I've, I've not got a living space. <laughs> half I've got half, bedroom. Half of my life dungeon. is dungeon based. Like, it, you know, like, um, you got to have... I live in a studio dungeon down in one Wait, does um does a dungeon have to be underground? Because you could two up, co- two down dungeon. <laughs> you could convert two the basement down, into the dungeon. Two dungeons up. So so yeah, mate, that's a good point. I feel like a dungeon does need to be below ground. So you would at least have to have that space. You can't. Yeah, you, I guess you can't have a dungeon attic. Can you, you have it's above ground dungeons and it? above ground dungeons. I don't know, Michael. That definitely sounds like a, a term for a flat in London. <laughs> and uh, we've got a couple of lovely above ground mm. dungeons here. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so if no windows, yeah. this, this used to be yeah. a youth centre <laughs> uh, boring it's all been converted to dungeons for young millennial <laughs> working <laughs> working people to live in a couple of hot dungeons yeah exactly <laughs> I met the girl from the dungeon next to her. she's pretty cool actually. Oh, yeah. she's pretty cool she <laughs> lent me a whip block. it's under block F oh yeah it's under block F yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's great living here. There is a lot of jangling of keys in the evening, but apart from that, it's great. <laughs> get locked out, have a word with the dungeon master. Exactly. He'll, He'll get, get you right out of there. He'll get you right out of there. Oh, You're locked no. in. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we're agreed on, on dun- oh yeah, it's got to be a small part. All of on the same so page, yeah. there's nothing wrong with the same one. page. So we all agree that no Trump judgment. shouldn't have attacked her on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you've got to see how the implications play out in terms of the, <laughs> the, the situation. The implif- yeah, yeah, <laughs> but in terms of how the situation. What was that? The, huh? the, the implications. <laughs> the, we have to see how it, implications. how it plays out on some of the world Sorry, scale. Michael, you're actually here on the whitest middle class <laughs> podcast ever, like, implications. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you not even did you not even study English literature? Yeah. Oh my you god, know? like Jesus. Like you know, we've, got to, we've got to see how this situation plays yeah. out, that's what I'm saying. I've taken a measured angle, you know. I feel like with anything like that that is like slightly sexual, it, it has to be a small <laughs> Wait, right. dun- dungeon. Oh dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on dungeons. And it, all of that has to be a small part of your. That has to be a small part of your life. Like you can have a sex toy, but if you had a room full of sex toys, like it would be a worse. sex toy. Yeah. What about a sex drawer? Tell us how many drawers you've got. If you've got three and one's just yeah. full of sex stuff. So yeah, if, yeah, one, if you've got one drawer which is like, oh, I'll throw that in there. Maybe I'll look at it later. Yeah. You keep adding to it, but not meaning to. Then that's kind of chill. Yeah, you're so really, like you're really about- Like old battery yeah. drawer. You know? You're really yeah. about the percentages of sexual debauchery. We well, you just so don't, want, like, you don't want people to be like, I've got two cupboards in my room. One is full of gimp <laughs> stuff and one is just full of clothes. Two like, cupboards, you know? Yeah. And that's Man. not even your dungeon room, which yeah. is 50% of your house. There's, yeah. there's not yeah. enough uh, male <laughs> sex toys, I don't think. Yeah, that's a good I mean, point. I mean, I mean, what, how, but what, what's that we story? have the uh, pocket vagina. The yeah. uh, what's it called? Fleshlight. Mm. Fleshlight. Pocket Fleshlight. vagina. Yeah, the pocket. Fleshlight. is it called Fleshlight. a pocket vagina? Yeah, so you can take it around with you. you. know what I mean, yeah, you can put it in. Yeah. There, you know. We talked about it before on the on the, yeah, on the podcast. Uh, about a, comedi- this. a comedian friend of ours uh, went to one of those. Uh, what are they called? I don't even know. Just vending machines, vending machines in, in a the toilets, and yeah. it was like you could buy like condoms, lube. Weird ring, Viagra, the, the buzzy ring, cock ring, and, a, and then a pocket pussy, which was a sort of <laughs> balloon that you blow up into a vagina shape and shag. How do you doll. empty them? Uh, deflate I it. Mean, I don't. And no, I like the normal. I've ones. never done one. Oh, the the the, uh, the flashlight. Mm. Uh, I don't, I've never used one, but I imagine machine washable. I've actually never used one, which is surprising. I I yeah, very. I am. Um, I, I but I know Roy Scovel. Michael's looking for a present. Um, I know Roy Scovel does a bit on it where he talks about you have to boil it for like five minutes <laughs> to make it sort of malleable to your size you know so you, if, I don't know if any of you played rugby um, no, mouth with the mouth, mouth guard, you have yeah. to do that process and he says like there's nothing more ridiculous than that five minutes while you've got a fleshlight in a pot <laughs> boiling <laughs> <laughs> It's a proper evaluation type moment. Yeah, that's where you sort of... But then, you know, the five minutes goes and you're good to go. Yeah, okay. Would you... If someone got you one... Well, we're not sex shaming on this show, so, you know... No, there's zero sex shaming. We'll do whatever we want on this show. There's a lot in here. You come in here, we... we, We'll show where we like it. This is a safe space. (laughs) It is, to be fair. What other other male sex toys could they really... I guess... There must be butt stuff that you can just do for men, aren't you? Yeah. The thing is, though, I think the issue is vibrations for us is not as big a deal. That's why there's lots of... For female sex toys, there's lots of different variants of vibration and different sizes. And obviously for men, your size is sort of set. So you're also, not going to get different sizes of fleshlight, are you? Yeah. Also, those like I don't I find those realistic sex dolls creepy. You know, those ones oh, the sex bot re- ones. Yeah, they look really real. And like, well, it's the uncanny valley. Yeah, and you and they have to keep their arms in only certain position. Well, you know, position would you? I, have I, your I, sex I have never had one. In, in, in what, but what would you go for? What's my favorite? I can position? imagine you sort of doing a hug. Like, my one, um, so they can't see the tears. Context. So, yeah. doggy or uh, <laughs> anything from behind. Yeah. <laughs> That's v- actually not my joke. VR, either. VR's coming. VR's coming. So. That's not a pl- pun, is it? V- <laughs> but no, VR, virtual reality. Oh, okay, so. yeah. Oh yeah, VR I think they like VR coming. Like, that's another text uh, toy. Yeah. That's a good name. It's a yeah. trademark, that. Thank you. For that. Yeah, I, I, always, gang bang I, I, I always talk about VR porn. porn, and I think that it's good, but nothing will be more embarrassing than if you got caught by someone <laughs> wanking with VR things on. That's why headphones. you retreat to your dungeon. Yeah, but then yeah, but then maybe that's why. Can it's you imagine that so being at home and you just take it off and just your dinner's on the floor? Like, oh no, mum, I'm sorry. Oh, that'd be so <laughs> joke. Especially if you're like properly getting into it. Yeah. <laughs> Doing stuff. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I Nothing don't know where, but the thing is with me, so feel we, of a real woman, though. Yeah. Well, 
Warm. That's, that, that sounds like you've been at sea, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like a conversation on a boat in the middle of the Atlantic. <laughs> the warm embrace of Do you remember her, having sex? Sweet sex lassie. Yeah. She no, oh, the, the warm the, bosom that you, yeah. you rest yeah. your head against. The yeah. lukewarm skin of a, of a human woman. Lukewarm? <laughs> How long have they been dead? Dungeon Dungeon talk. Talk. <laughs> yeah, that's the 40-year-old version where they're like, the they're like bags of sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, lukewarm <laughs> skin. Lukewarm. That's that's no, Michael's, that's that's Michael's stripper it. name. Luke, yeah. the body. Hey, I'm lukewarm, everybody. Um, Cold skin would be more alarming. It would be, yeah. Lukewarm sort of sounds like they've been gone for eight hours or something like that. Because no, um, they've just come in from outside, so they're not warmed up. And that's yet. when you get them <laughs> in the dungeon. Lock the door. I'm already in the house. <laughs> but we had Ola on the show. Ola the comedian. Yeah, he's black. Which you will know because he's, he's black. Black yeah. man. Yep, yeah, there you go. From so, it. Um, but he talked about the desensitization of porn, and I do agree with him. Yeah, in terms of what his, his biggest this, fail this, was his porn addiction, mm-hmm. uh, and he was saying that it's he became so desensitized to porn, and like he just felt that he couldn't interact with real women in in the way that he wanted yeah. to. Because and he's a big, big believer in his own marriage, like the sanctity of his own marriage. He wants mm. to be able to as we be sexually be. there as a husband. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, I'm not married, so I might. But, um, but he felt that porn was ruining that for him. And his wife, he finds beautiful, but wasn't the, wasn't the girls from these videos. And it wasn't just like it was one, one girl from one video. It was all the girls from all the videos. I hear um, that. So how do you feel about that sort of thing? You, you, you know, are you... I'm, a, I'm a porn watcher. Um, that's, I feel like that's how I describe myself mm-hmm. first and foremost <laughs> I'm, <not avid>. so <laughs> my CV. I'm an American porn. I'm a porn yeah, watcher yeah. now I'm not afraid to say it I feel like the only way to like really know whether you've got a problem is like just go without it for a bit and see how you, yeah. how you that's the only way you really like the same with the alcohol you know like oh, okay I'm a, yep. a whole month two weeks let's see if it's really <laughs> really an issue <laughs> No, you're not addicted. Yeah. Sorry, we're laughing because Rachel just walked Definitely. out of the room. That's the noise you just heard. Was the door closing? Yeah. Yeah. Just, Nicholas. We just the Get porn out. is just reminding him to do something today. Um, that's, that's a good way to see. Have you? So have you ever gone? Oh, we actually talked about this. I think. Yeah, I've gone like two, two, three weeks. But th- I try because I, I was like, let me go without just masturbating. And that's mm. hard. That's, that's hard because that's yeah. human. That's yeah. biology. Unless you're having as much sex as I am, obviously. Yeah. The no Don't fat immunity is, is a big <laughs> one. Know, yeah, on Reddit. Apparently, apparently, there's a lot of like pe- positives to not masturbating, though. Yeah, like you can fly, you can see in the dark <laughs> yeah. after like two months. Yeah, yeah. But, like, but then that's, that's annoying because you get X-ray vision and then you can see through women's clothes and you're like, fuck, uh, man, uh, Jesus. That's another good bit. N- all of what I was saying and like you know, I understand it like if you want to go people, back and listen people, to Ola's episode yeah, by the way great. on this we talk about it for long he's got very passionate yeah. views you can get out on the, on the episode season it, two it was when he was doing things like you were sleeping with real women and then watching porn afterwards mm. yeah. and stuff that's when it's becoming mm. weird because it's like you, you're not getting what you you know you really want from real women that's when it's like that was the point it really hurt home for me it's not even like you're stimulated from a certain video mm. or a certain image it's like you're skipping between you're like, I like this bit, I like this couple of minutes of this one, but now I need to go on to the next one. And he's like, when is that ever going to be a reality? Yeah, when gonna is that ever going to... Like, if you... To me, there's maybe something in, like, you watch a sexual scene and you wank to that sexual scene. You are living through that one fantasy. Yeah, and that's a fantasy. still a fantasy and it's still desensitizing you. But it's not to the extent of these, like, multiple, mm. like... You've got a, in your head. You've got a catalogue of images you can pull up any time because you've watched you watch them. None of those fantasies are going to live up to like the lukewarm touch of a, <laughs> a real human woman. If there's any lukewarm women out there <laughs> looking, <laughs> looking for a, <laughs> looking for a <laughs> 24 year old like, Ellerman nominated but, comedian. But that's the thing, mate. Like, you say none of it will live up, but like, it's they kind of are. They're exceeding. Mm. You know, that's the problem because people are getting too into mm. just sleeping with. I wait for him to sit down to make a noise. <laughs> yeah, good. It's it's it's, producer, it's, right? yeah, it's, producer. it's it's becoming a problem because people it's succeeding what can actually happen with real women and what real women will necessarily want to do. So like you're just you're feeling like you know no real woman's gonna live up to this porn fantasy where you can look at ten like a hundred videos at a time just skipping through mm. finding your best bits really crazy niche shit as well. I like talking after sex. You can't get that with porn. Oh fucking hell! Let's get married. But you can you talk to yourself. Yeah. You just go, yeah, 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 yeah. That was good, Michael. Did yeah. you enjoy it? I did, Michael. You know, did you enjoy it? Yeah. You guys ever go into the comments? Like, it's a real community in there, man. Oh yeah. I mean, I've heard, but I have heard like so many comedians talk about like porn comments, porn like, comments. like as a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. It's I've, I've I've never I've never. I wouldn't want to go in there. What are people like rating things? It's like it's like it's funny. It's like a funny group of people just. 
They can find I almost them. like that more than the silent partners like I am. I'm the, I'm the liberal guy who votes Tory with porn in that I'm watching it, but I'm not, don't want to let anyone know what I'm watching. But they're the ones who are just like outspokenly like, yeah. I'm into porn. I love it. You know, well, I love this video. Have you seen this one? Like, you got to support sex workers, man. Vote at the porn awards. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, mm. well um, a mooch, R.I.P. Old producer of this. Oh yeah. Um, he uh, he's still alive, by the way. Uh, just about. He 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 went to the <laughs> porn awards mm. and uh, did some interviews. If you want to check that out, check out mooch about British porn. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, British porn. Yeah, yeah. 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 When they like wank off into flannels. Um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> you love that, don't you? <laughs> I do. Puts it in my shirt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Up the cracker. Oh. <laughs> fake, just, fake, just taxi. fake taxi. Just fake taxi. That's a British production. Like, yeah, that's, that's a British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't notice. I don't know. It's kind of British no, like black cab. And it's just, Still it's just one middle aged British this, bloke, man. and he's just like, oh, I love where you're going. Oh, you can't afford it, can you? Oh, <laughs> fuck it, yeah. no. How are we going to solve this problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the, yeah. <laughs> that's how are we going to get this fixed? Yeah, yeah. I don't have money. Uh, let's not drive to a cash point. Let's yeah. fucking stay. If you, I'll tell you what, you show me your tits and we'll call it square. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Why nah, get into a you... cab with no money on? Well, but they're not, they're not actually, yeah, I mean, they're not actually getting in the cash point. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, It'd be great um, if the video was then driving to a cash point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Um, because we're getting quite uh, yeah. introspective. Do you want to maybe move on to... Failure, a transition? Failure yeah, your life. Transition, yeah. man. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, Michael. Yeah, we are going to move on to fail of your life. Mm. Sorry, Michael Adewadi. Michael, take away. The floor is yours, my friend. The floor... As in, Thank Michael, Michael uh, first guy in about a year. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. that starts the decade. Was that on yeah. purpose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Often people just go, "Oh, fail of my life." Well, right. where do I start? And then, but we just uh, put, that's the best thing that. we've ever done on the yeah. podcast. And you know what? I think that was actually Tom's idea. It was like that was like probably episode Uno, maybe. Even. No, no, it was somewhere through season one. Yeah. And what you should do, listeners, is listen through all of them, find out where it is. I say, in my youth, I was actually, um, if you're talking about flaws, I was, I was a late bedwetter. You know, we're okay. talking like 13, 14. Oh. I used to do it, man. That's quite late, isn't it? Like, mm. how, how would you combat it? What was when, did it when did it start? Well, I'm just... well, you know, when does it start normally? Like, was it six, five, six? So I suppose there's there's your baby mm -hmm. and then you're what? You would can't you help wear it. But I think when you start going to school, like reception and stuff, people mm. expect that you should be able to, maybe once occasionally, but you should start. Like yeah. four or five, you should start. But like, yeah, get, get, getting up there. I was, I, cause I, was, I was a deep kid. I was a, I was a thoughtful kid. So I don't know. Well, I just had a lot of anxiety going on, and it just kind of like it just I'd go to bed, and then it gets in your head, and then you're just stressed out. And the worst thing was so I what used are you to, anxious about uh, just 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 life, man. Mm. You know, I was just just thinking about life, like how does it all work, where we all come from. So you're having like existential sort of crisis at a young age. You must have been so fun, to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you want to go play on the swings, Michael? Yeah, but, but where are we meeting? swinging to? Where, Backwards what's and the forwards? Point? Once yeah. again, like, why? We, <laughs> you might feel like you're moving, but you're not going anywhere on the swings. Thanks, why? Michael. Good yeah. to see you again. Do you know what the worst thing was? I used to have dreams, right? No way. That I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I used to have dreams that I was on the toilet peeing. Oh. So it was oh. like my, my mom, and then I'd wake up and I'd be mid pee. Oh. And then I, I, I just like my dreams were fucking with me, man. Yeah. Have you ever had that dream? subconscious yeah, Odawal? I've never, I've never been a bed. Even when drunk, I've been a bed vomiter when I've been drunk, but I've never, I've oh, never had a bit of bed. That's brutal. Yeah. Christ. Did you wake up and vomit, or you woke up to vomit already there? A bit of both. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not good. Yeah. That was I've, a session I've, over there. But that's like alcohol. There's a reason behind it, and I could never like work out. The reason why it stopped, but it's 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 an anxiety sort of cycle. It's mm. like, it's a spiral, isn't it? Because you get anxious about it, which propels, and then it affects and your dreams, which is what makes anxious. you do it. Uh, and and that's what makes you do it. Did you do? How did you like try and like as a kid? Was would you do things like not stay at people's houses? Was it like? What oh yeah, like a sleepover, school trips, man. That's uh. that's one of those. Because I used to just kind of like just stay up all night for those ones, you know. But wow. then, um, what would you do for that length of time? Then I'd just be doing my thinking, man. I'd just <laughs> getting get my thoughts in, getting like, some of my... As, as an Are anxious kid, I really, no, no, but honestly, That's as like an terrifying. anxious kid, like, <laughs> imagine I, waking I, up on a school trip <laughs> in year seven and you just see Michael sort of cross legs <laughs> sitting up, just looking and sort of like, like glimmer in his eyes just sort of, and you'd be like, this fucking guy's going to shoot up this If kid. I don't do yeah. this, I'll piss myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, old captain of the football team here, I wouldn't get it, but I, honestly, I do yeah. remember I in school trips. I was captain of the basketball team. I was, you were captain of the basketball team. I know, for two years, yeah. I, okay. Um, 
uh, you would over uh, over overthink things. Mm. And I remember on school trips, like, I, I could never sleep. Like if mm. I was around, like all around people's houses, like I just had this problem. I just could not sleep. Yeah. Just what, so would never what, do would, it. what would so what would happen? I, I want to see, but I want to hear both of you guys. So uh, Tom, quickly, was up yours because yours less important. <laughs> well, so <laughs> we'll I only say that because we got a guest. So you get to your friends' sleepovers. How old are you? This is like up until the age of sort of like when I became a proper teenager. So maybe like 13. When I became so a like proper 12, teenager. 12, sort of pre-teen. Yeah. Mm. So uh, obviously you're staying up a little bit late anyway because it's a sleepover. Mm. But then they'd all just start nodding off. Mm. And what would you, would you be on? You'd be you'd on the be bed. Awake. Yeah, I'd just be awake with your thoughts. Just rolling. What would you be thinking about? I don't know. Life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> life. <laughs> Tacking. What are these guys thinking the hell's about? in the room here? <laughs> like... Are you guys okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I would um I'd pace the room, I'd look out the window, so my hands behind my back. <laughs> you know, I'd be I'd be I'd be staring at the moon. I would be so scared of you. Sometimes the moon would be talking back to me, man. Like, <laughs> saying, Do it, kill the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poison the taste. That's the the dungeon. Dungeon. Like They're talking dungeon. about they're, <laughs> they're thinking about you. Take him to the dungeon. Dungeon. I say well, you like a dungeon so much, get your own space. Yeah. Yeah, just, but you know, I, I feel it I feel it too. It's, so would you try but would you try and go to sleep? Or at that point would you give up? Well, I didn't actually get invited to that my sleep. I was, oh. I was, I was, I was kind of a loner. I was, I was, well, you, I was what, the guy who spoke to the moon at three a.m. No, yeah. I, I, I can't believe that. Not. I can't believe that. No, I wasn't like, I wasn't like an unpopular child, but I never. I was kind yeah, of that's like, what I'm I, saying because you're nice. You got good social skills I, and all that sort of quite, stuff. You know, like laid back. So I was just kind of like, but I never felt like I belonged into any particular group. Right. What so. was your school um, uh, makeup wise? Like, what are we talking about? Who? What kind of backgrounds? What kind of social? We had the, we had the blacks class. and the whites. Um, Good, both. I mean, I mean, I remember in sixth form actually, we had two common room areas, and one of them was kind of run down, and we used to call that the ghetto, and that's where the black people would hung out. And, <laughs> and that was on the sleep. corner there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the white people, they'd hung out in in the suburbs. Oh, classic white people. I mean? And um, that was obviously bigger, better computers. It's weird how at school, like it does it's prison vibes do sort of come out. Right? People yeah. just hang out with uh, like the white kids and the black kids. And I like, do think that about my school yeah. because my school was super. Super diverse. It was predominantly um, Asian, both South and East. But there was, I remember one time we close up in our year, there was 37 people you could say were of like European heritage. And I have 180. Them, whatever, because it was fun, not weird but at all. Would, to no, do but that. it was because you, could, you got the <laughs> school. How many? Though? Because you got yeah. out of 180. You'd got yeah. the school photo and you could see the white kids. Like, my mum never had a problem being like, oh, there you are in the school photo. Because I'd be like, that fucking white bloke yeah. there. Um, but whilst everyone got on, you could see that. And obviously, since school as well, like the groups that continue to hang out, it seems like something like the white kids hang out with each other, the Indian kids hang out with each other, the Shlangi kids hang out with each other, the, the black kids hang out with each other. Any but more? it, it didn't more? feel like um, the, the East East Asian Chinese <laughs> hang out with each other, yeah. the Japanese <laughs> hang out with each other. It didn't, it didn't, Stop it, doing the voice. It didn't feel like. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is my voice! <laughs> what? Come on, man! <laughs> I never felt uh, on purpose though that segregation. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. similarly. And there were, there were some, obviously, people could come, they were, yeah, they were yeah, good yeah. at like mixing between the two. Yeah, and then, but then they would get told, like, Emmanuel was a Nigerian guy who was one of these classic Lenny types, like, huge, hulking, six foot three, beast in the gym, mm. softest guy, like, mm. played Nintendo DS, Cooking Mama was his <laughs> favorite thing, right? And so he was like, obviously, uh, hanging out with the, the, the Chinese kids. <laughs> That's, that was his thing. But then he got known as like coconut, like, oh, really? in some way, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, and then similarly, like there's there's always like the white kid from ends mm. who hangs out with the black kids, and mm. then obviously like he's not he's white, but he's not white, you know what I mean? Like, mm. he's, yeah, that's, but so it was they were they were the ones who, did, but they were then seen as like oh you're part of that yeah group. You're not like oh that's a nice diverse group. Yeah, but some, there's some people who could like move for it naturally, but there's some people who, like like oh I've kind of made myself I'm black now. Or you're like, you know, um, so you said to yourself, as well. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked I in the mirror. I know you could choose. No, I'm, I'm definitely I'm, not I'm chosen black ginger. Now, but you know, yeah. yeah. So, so, so that's the makeup of your school, and then so you wouldn't hang out with. I, I could. I, I didn't mind hanging out, but there's also some part that's just like I don't know if I. Sometimes it it's in your head. I don't know if I belong. Yeah, that's social anxiety. So, uh, yeah. so uh, there's um, a lot, of, and like when you have social anxiety, and you be you be overthinking things, you'll just be like. Do I really resonate with these people? Like, yeah. do I actually get on? Is it, are these actually my people? And like, it, it plays on you. And when you over, when you ever do think it, you mm. do remove yourself naturally from the situation because you are thinking. But about I made it. a decision at a certain point to be the, the class clown. So like, that was that's my role. And I made this. I'm going to be the funny guy. I remember just like. When's that going to stop? Banter <laughs> <laughs> with the lads. Yeah. We like to keep you it sort of light. Yeah. You love yeah, to yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's great. So you just and so was that for you to get a sense of identity? Yeah, or I wanted. I was like, I I want to roll. I Before then, be... you were the quiet guy. I was. You were like, like oh, that's Michael. He doesn't say much. I was cool, but I felt like I was unremembered. 
and I was like, I'm gonna be remembered as the funny guy, so I'm gonna be <laughs> the class clown. It's like you're gonna top yourself. As well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay, so then, and what? How old are you then? I might have been about like 15. It might have been the, year, so the year I stopped bedwetting. Well, that's what I was going mm. to say. Was like, do you feel like there was a sort of sense of isolation that led to maybe these sort of act these? Because often what I found is <clears throat> when you repress stuff psychologically, your body acts out mm. in, a, in a different way. Like for me, it was sort of anger. It was like I wanted to be funny and chilled and always like a laugh, but I had like a lot of things in my head where I wanted to do better at do better than I was doing at them and that came out in anger if like Man United would lose or something like that mm. and I'd be like flipping the table and I'd be like punching the, the fucking wall and stuff like okay. that um, but that was obviously the physical reaction to something that psychologically it wasn't really too much about Man United it was like other things that were going on mm. so do you feel like but I can't like I think know. of anything specific in terms of like turmoil that I was going through at the time. It was just something that I couldn't You quite... went in the bed at 14. Like, that is... That's quite a late age. That's a late. That's a late. That's tough. Did anyone quite, know? I couldn't, nah, nah. It was Did your late. parents know? Obviously, my mum knew, yeah. my sister knew. And you get quite good at being like, you Gosh, know, like yeah. being late night, like sneaky, like changing the sheets. Mm. And I was quite strong a little bit because, you know, flipping the bed over, mm. you know, oh, something nice. like that. Would you, know? would you do things like... Uh, like not but drink... the stain would be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in you my do... heart as well. <laughs> would you do things like try and combat it, like not drink a long time before go to bed and things like that? Or just like, fuck it? <laughs> not really. I didn't really help myself in a lot of ways. I don't know. I can't, I can't explain it why, why I lasted that long. Really, but I just remember feeling like, oh man, I can't beat it. I go to school like, oh man. Was, was there ever like, was there ever like a, a real embarrassing one? Ooh. Or do you think it was always kept fairly under wraps? Like, because mm. I'm just like 14 year old boys, like people have known. Like, yeah, I felt like that was say, the thing. Yeah, if that yeah. got out, that's, yeah, that would have been. You're bedwetting Michael and it doesn't matter how old you get. Do you know what I mean? Like, no matter. year eight, year nine, mm. the wet in the bed. That would have been pretty bad. But now I feel like I managed, I because I, there was no, I managed to keep it under wraps in terms of like, the school trips or the, the the going over to the sleepovers, but it was just in your head, like man, if these other kids knew, like you know what get me. <laughs> this is your yeah. oh, They gonna kick me out the ghetto. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I got shit to deal with, man. But that, yeah, <laughs> but that was it was a good feeling when I when I when I beat that. Like it was like a gradual thing, and then I felt like I was becoming more into myself and like more. It wasn't every night, or was it every night? Well, it wasn't no. every night, but I, maybe I might be like three, four times a night, and you know, it was, it was, it was getting to me, and I felt like between those ages, three, like three, four times a week. Sorry, might have been like yeah. three or four times yeah. a week. That was quite. That's a. That's, that's yeah. quite a bit, you yeah. know. You know, so sometimes I would get over it and, and, and like a go for a little bit, and then come back. So I don't know. Like maybe if I went for therapy, I could like uncover this. Cause I've I never really thought about deeply like why it was happening. You were thinking about everything else. I was. Why were you not thinking about this? <laughs> what the but hell? Like, like Bedwetting is like it is a like a kind of. Sarah Silverman used to do it. Yeah. Um, in a, like, book, yeah. Oh, you're cool then. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a comic thing. Actually. Yeah, bedwetting is systemic of like kids with a lot of anxiety, and mm. like if you if you are going through a lot and you've got a lot of anxiety, it's, it's just way of itself manifesting itself. Mm. Um, I don't know. It's, it's one of them. Shitty, shitty, horrible. I horrible felt like because a lot of my childhood, right, I was just there. And it was only like about 15 that I really started coming into myself and finding out like what I liked and what I was into. And I felt like that was a big thing for me in just becoming a more sort of, more of a person. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like that's, that, was, that was a big thing for me. Well, I think there's, there's this interesting psychological thing that I found, which is like when you're a teenager, it's never harder to fit in. It's never harder to know who you are. And then when you're an adult, it feels like standing out is the hardest thing. Right, yeah. It's mm. so bizarre that this shifts so much when you're in this microcosm of school. Everyone wants to know who you are, what do you do, who you with, what do you stand for? And you're asking yourself these questions like, what guy am I going to be? Yeah. And then you get to 25 and you're like, I'm the same as everyone <laughs> else, man. I want to stand out. I want to do something different now. Yeah. Um, but then a lot of people actually don't, to be fair. Like, a lot of people you know, get comfortable with that life, and fair enough. Um, but I think four of us sitting here all trying to be on stage and asking strangers to listen to us. Uh, suggest that we're, we're trying to still stand out, um, but what and what was your thing that changed then? What made you less anxious and able to go to sleep at these? At age, these oh, sleepers? age. I mean, I still suffer with sleep terribly, but like age and and routine as well. That was mm. like the big thing for me, like set, setting like proper routine and be like, I'm up at this time, I'm going to bed at this. Well, time. you had struggle with that or that? No, no, I had to. That's exactly. Oh, and I still have to do it now. And like, mm. still, oh, I was on. Oh, all the way through university, I was on sleep medication, just like wow. constantly on um, 
oh, well, all of them. Like, I've been through them all kind of thing. But it's just, otherwise, like, I just wouldn't sleep. Like, mm. I could go, like, a really long, weird amount of time without sleeping. Mm. But it's, it's all anxiety-based. Like, anything, like, to do with sleep, whether it's bedwetting or not being able to. It's, well, when, it's I, when, I, when, I, when I think about it, I actually really started writing comedy when I was 15. I think I did my first gig when I was about 17. Mm. So in terms of like an outlet for certain anxieties and just certain ways I was thinking, I felt like comedy was a big part of that in terms of like I had something now. You know, I, mean, I wanted the kids to write poems or shit like that. But like English in general, creative writing was an outlet for me in terms of a lot of things I was thinking. So so what changed? So 15 and you've been watching, you'd always been a comedy fan or you'd never watched comedy? I don't know what comedy? it was, but like 15 is when I started paying attention to like Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. And I was like, this is funny, but it's also like interesting. Like mm. they're talking about something. And I like that because it was like, obviously music, like it's, it's, it's only so direct and like they still have to rhyme. They still have to fit within Yeah, what music were you, were you listening to rap then? Rhyme, yeah, like yeah. rapping and stuff like that, but they still had to fit within a structure. And I felt like comedy was a bit looser. You could just actually be direct mm. with what you were saying. Also, with, with music, a lot of the stuff I found, like, it resonates with me much more now. I've had things like long-term relationships and stuff. Mm. When I was listening to it when I was like 15, I was just like, uh, it's like yeah. you kind of get way, it. You like the melody or whatever, but mm. the you're not way, resonating yeah. with what they say. The way music changes after you've had your first sort of heartbreak thing. <laughs> oh, God. I found that so seminal. I remember being in the shower and I was listening to, do you know what it was? Adele. No, Adele. Neo, so sick. Really? Oh God, that's so sick of love, love songs. Love so tired of tears. Love Remember so listening to that in the shower love. and being like, I get it, Neo. <laughs> yeah. Like I was. And do you know why? Do you know why? Because my girlfriend of one month Ooh. had broken up with me on MSN. Yeah. I'm so sick of love songs. <laughs> and like Neo's in the video, like doing that thing. It was back in the days when videos used to be cool because you'd have like the main bit, but then you'd have like two little side videos yeah. going on at the same time. Yeah. And I was like, Neo, I get this, man. I Black R&B singers do do it best. When I was breaking up with my girlfriend of three years, listen to Usher burn a lot. Oh, I had to oh, dump oh, her. I knew how to do it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let it burn. Be, be, the thing in your body, don't want, want to, but you know, gotta let, let it go. go. Cause the party ain't that's when I'm um, like it used to. Maybe love is for you. Let it burn. That's when the video just had the dance burn. breaks in the middle. Gotta let it burn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And he was, he was spinning. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, with, with like, with like the fire burning on the trees. Yeah. It's just like, but it, it's such a and good. And then they come back. I think that you should <laughs> let it burn. Um, or um, oh. Ray J, One Wish. Yeah. If I, I had know. one wish, yeah. you would be my boo. I listen, man. But Ashley Byrne is, is the best example of knowing you have to break up with something, someone, with something, someone, because it's going terribly mm. and like it's ruining your life, but you don't want it. But like, the lyrics never, are so profound. I've never had a heartbreak situation with a girl yet, so I still kind of listen to them enjoyment. Mm. I don't, I don't, that lyrics haven't hit me yet. Oh. You know what I mean? It's Even if, like, I joked about Adele, but. Fuck me, you listen you listen to uh, 21 after go breaking up with someone, someone. like you. Ooh. Ooh. That hits. But another like That's failure good. that I have is more, more of a constant failure if we're talking about mm. just an ongoing failure. It's like I feel like as, as creative people, just in terms of that feeling like it's in terms of creativity, like it's you feel like you, the well is dry. Mm. Sometimes you just get the anxiety that I still get like, man, I'm 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 out. I'm, 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 I always find with that in this. Well you've had all of your thoughts. Right, you finish your thoughts. Right? Nah, just in terms of like, just actually, do, obviously, just. <laughs> no, I've done that. Yeah, Sometimes I'm like, I've run out of thoughts. Yeah, that's yeah. me done. Yeah, you oh. can tell from what you say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's when you just resort to sound bites. <laughs> On when stage, you human you just sound like, like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 DJ. <Yeah. laughs> but you ever just feel like as comedians, as inspiration, right? You're like, man, I just. I got nothing. I had nothing for a while. Mm. And I thought, actually thought, you know, once I went to Edinburgh and I got the nomination, I was, because in my lo long time in my head, I was thinking, oh, that nomination is going to make me feel settled. Mm. But if anything, those anxieties sort of increased. But it must have been a bit of validation. Like... At the same time, it was, it was a nice feeling, but it was also nice. It was, it was kind of like a, a realisation that nothing is going to validate you in terms of things like mm. that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You're Imposter not gonna... syndrome. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit in terms of that. Right, guys.
This has been All I Do Is Fail. Thank you for coming on and sharing that. Always, that's, man. It was really like... To open yourself up like that is brave I as well. I appreciate it, my brother. Well done, Michael. Thanks yeah. so we're not We're not going to air that bit. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, just, we're, just, we're just airing the bits about slamming you about the yeah, dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dungeon balloon yeah, yeah, yeah. And out. Yeah. Good night. Live show, 21st of February. It's See the spice of him doing his black voice. Yeah, 8.30pm. Yeah, yeah. It's got, just my normal um, voice, guys. Doing, doing Soho Theatre, my show. Oh, nice. Black Bears Matter, February 11th, 15th. Get them tickets on the Soho Theatre. February uh, 11th and 15th. Fe- 11th February 11th to the 15th. Oh, okay. oh nice. Uh, what, what are you charging for tickets? Oh, fucking, I don't know. Like £10? Oh, Maybe true. more? It's not too much. That's probably yeah, probably. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But award-winning, award-nominated <laughs> show. Um, <laughs> probably last chance to see it. Well, actually, I'm going to film it and put it on YouTube. So if you don't yeah, catch it, you're going to... Oh, so that's big, though, because that's like... you. That, once it's out there, you, you officially said it's all burnt, even for club sets. Like... Nah, people oh, yeah. do. Class, no one's gonna. Yeah. No one's gonna so watch it. Not enough people. No, nah, yeah, you can do that. You can just no one's gonna watch yeah. it. So I'm just putting it out there for me. It's like a like a. It's like a mark for me. This show is done. Yeah, yeah. done it and clip the bits as well. Clip it. Yeah, clip yeah. Bits. So, uh, but I would recommend seeing Michael live because it's quite an experience. So it's go fantastic. Eleven to the so fifty. And so the theatre is a great venue. So go and enjoy. Appreciate it. it. Right. On social media. Uh, yeah, Michael the Wale Comedy on Insta, Facebook, and, and, and Twitter. Don't follow me on Facebook, though. That's more for like friends and shit. So just <laughs> yeah, on Twitter. I'm not friends with uh, yeah, Twitter and Insta. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, at Tom Elwes. Uh, at Ali Was Geeks. I've obviously got my own Vault show as well on the 4th and the 5th of February, 8 30 p.m. It's seven pounds for tickets. Half of that goes to charitychild.org. If you want to get one pound off, you can type in Ali Vault as a code and that'll take one pound off my side of things so <laughs> by all means use that um, I'm saying that but obviously it's a charity I'm not fucking it no no it will be my side of things so um, and you'll get that for six quid and yeah please do because tickets are selling fast I've almost sold four That's almost. not a joke almost, almost yeah. sold four almost. not even a joke guys yeah, not even a joke. if you want to see my stand up come watch that one and uh, and again 21st of February live the first ever live recording of All of I Do Is Fail 21st of February 8.30pm go on the Vault website Vault Festival Google it and come in with uh, All I Do Is Fail and you will see us there and you can buy your tickets and watch us live and obviously we're looking forward to meeting you on the day as and well. we'll also be doing a live reveal of a six pack as well at the end <laughs> no 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 you need to give me to the end of March I'm sorry guys it won't be a time for that 12 week course <laughs> end of March um, hopefully we'll see it then Hopefully see Sir Horatio Gold if he decides to show up slash can. Horatio might not be there. Yeah. He'll be at, he'll be at the I gym, genuinely think I'm in Namibia then. I, ge- I don't know. That is the most you <laughs> sentence yeah, I've genuinely. ever heard in my think entire life. Genuinely, genuinely, genuinely just, think uh, yeah, so actually pretty you're in Namibia. <laughs> so I don't think I can make it. Like, I really oh, want 21st. to. 21st. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, uh, no. I, I think it'll be in Namibia, Tanzania. Uh, <laughs> I'm going on one safari of in Namibia. I'm sorry. So I'm, 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 I'm booked the flights yet, but like we've all, all the lads are coming. And Dad emailed Namibia. me and was like, "Mate, would you want to come to Namibia?" Yeah. Yeah. I saw one Sky Scanner, kind of like, and I can't resist. So uh, yeah, it's me, Seb's going, <laughs> Harry's yeah. going. Yeah. You know, Seb's bringing his friends. girlfriend though. Rogue, like, <laughs> I mean, like Katie's fun, but like you know, it's a bit of a lads thing. Anyway, yeah, yeah. she's happy with one of the lads. Plus, if we go on safari, there's only like four seats in the chopper, so that's gonna be a real game. Knows game, man. All right, guys. This has been All I Do Is Fail. Thank you very much, Ali. Thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye-bye.